Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to show you how to add an extra receptacle in your man cave or she shed. You're going to need some simple products here. Our supplies are going to be Romex wire, 14 tube of the ground. You're going to need a receptacle box, a cover, and the outlet itself. And then I like to use these Romex connectors as well. You're going to need a screwdriver, wire strippers, and a bolt tester to test the voltage to make sure you're safe. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, we want to make sure the power is safe. Check it with a bolt tester. Red light means hot. Turn your breaker off. All green, good to go. All right, we've nailed our blue nail-on box for the outlet. We've pre-drilled the studs. Run your Romax cable through. And then punch the tab out in the back of the nail-on box. Pull your Romax in. Always leave enough for your connection, a little extra. Now we're getting ready to wire the outlet. Make sure you've got a good pair of strippers. I'm partial to Klein myself, but any good pair will do. I'm going to take the strippers and you can see that we've left a little bit long on the exposed copper there that we stripped away on the neutral. I'm going to get back to that in just a minute. I'm going to do the same for the hot wire, the black wire. Just strip and pull away the excess. And again, leaving that kind of long. If you look here on the gauge of the clines, they have a, actually a, a size for the gauge of wire that you're needing to strip, so that's how you can tell if you're not familiar with those. Okay, now take the end of your pliers, you've got a little notch in them, and you can grab your hot wire, and just simply just make a small curl. And what this does, it gives you the shape that you need when you're ready to uh, attach to the outlet, just a little uh, secure way kind of gauge the length there as you get ready. But uh, notice the hole in the bottom. When we do install the plug, that ground hole, the round one, that goes at the bottom. Okay, now we hook the hot wire. It curls around. You can see there that uh, it's on the gold screw. Just a good way to remember black gold. Just an easy way to always remember your hot on the gold screw. Then there's a second screw there. You want to run that all the way in as well. Nothing else is going to hook up to this particular circuit, so just run it in where it's out of the way. Makes it nice and neat. Okay, that's your hot side, your black one. Now we're going to take the white wire, this is your neutral. We're going to do the same thing, just curl the end of it, back out a little, and then attach that to the silver, the top silver screw. Same way, just curl it around and it sort of pushes in. You can see it sits in there quite nicely. Tighten that one down. You want to make sure that all of these connections are good and snug. Don't break it, but good snug fit. If you got a loose neutral down the road, it's really going to come back and make it difficult. Alright, the copper wire is stripped already. It's insulated uh, or not insulated. You just curl it the same. Attach it to the green screw at the bottom. Green being for ground. Same principle, just curl it, attach it, make sure that it's very snug, and then don't break it. Just make a very good, solid connection uh, for all your connecting points. That's got it wrapped up. Just flip it around, pull your excess wire back, make sure the ground's on the bottom. Now position and install the plug. Let's look at the other end here. We've got a Romax connector already installed in our box. Uh, we've got a Romex wire ran through the connector. I'm going to take and uh, take a screwdriver, run the screws in. This tightens the collar around the Romex, around the wire, and makes for a very sturdy anchor point. Uh, don't over tighten these. You don't want to pinch the wires inside, but you want to make sure that it's a good anchor point again. Uh, test the wires. Give it a little tug. Good firm. Looks good. Ready to go. Now let's make all of our connections. We notice we've got our ground wire, this is a bare copper wire, it goes straight to the ground bus, see the green, green screw there. Just bend it, sort of get it neatened up in the panel. Now we're going to connect our neutral, that's the white wire. It has a separate bar as well, it's the neutral bar. Notice it's got multiple screws, just pick an empty slot on the neutral bar, slide it in behind. Just snugly tighten it down for a good connection. Have a good tight neutral. 
Gotta have that bond. Alright, let's move on to the black one here, get it ready. Take it and just strip the end off of it just the same. black wire, the hot wire, it's going to connect straight to the output on the load side of your circuit breaker. The flap, you just ease it in behind the flap there. Hold it in place. Good firm connection again. I always like to, when I get all the connections made, I give just a slight little uh, tug just to make sure everything's tight. Firm. Heat them up, get them out of the way there. Looks good. Now we're ready to move forward for the rest of our circuit. Alright, let's test our outlet. We've got a little lamp here. Just plug it into our newly installed outlet. Turn the breaker on. Flip the light switch. Boom! You're in business. Well, we've got our outlet installed, we've got our light burning. We've installed a uh, 110 circuit in our man cave. Let's talk a little bit about safety. It's a common sense thing, guys. In and around the panel, just use your head. Don't get in a hurry. Don't try to snatch and yank. Don't try to over tighten things. Just use common sense. It will go a long, long way. Hey, I appreciate all the support that y'all been showing us. I really do. I'd ask that you would like, comment, share this video. Also, check us out on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. Again, thanks so much, and God bless.